I have always been wanting to build a flying car. I grew up in the 80s, and then in 1981, something really important happened in my life, the return of the Jedi. And this became an obsession for me. <laughs> I think that is deeply rooted in the mentality of the human being that you want to fly. Because everyone I talk to wants to fly, and everyone has had a dream where they could fly. And the worst moment with that dream is when you could fly in your sleep, in your dream, and you wake up in the morning and you can't fly. Since I remember, I was always fascinated by the idea of the flight. As a kid, I often stared at the sky for a long time, thinking about the ideas, how to get off the ground and just fly freely. In the school, my grades were not really good. I skipped the lessons and I, I built my own helicopters and airplanes. Me and Thomas started in the late 2017. I called him and he joined me here in Italy and we started building a drone, a first version, like a prototype. It almost started like a joke. At that time, we, we did not believe that it's even possible, but then the idea grew. There's too much power, we have to reconfigure something. Is the flying potato ready? Almost. I don't remember how that happened uh, or what happened. I just remember how it was an amazing feeling of just your body becoming almost weightless. All you need if you want to achieve, it's enough just to believe and be able to maybe give up uh, some other things that later you realize they were absolutely unnecessary in your life. We started without being 100% certain that we were going to be able to fly this thing. So we took a chance. Life is about making your dreams come true. That's how you become a complete human being. For me, it, 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 it works like this. I have a dream, it becomes a mission, it becomes an obsession. Thinking bold is believing in yourself and accepting risk. Mm -hmm.